Okay, so um, today, obviously, talking about the uh, the charm cork. Yes, charming. Ha ha ha. Okay, so the charm cork. It's the second generation of cork, and it is rarer than the up or down cork. And it doesn't make up any matter that you have I've ever seen. The longest lasting particle with a charm cork in it lasts for only 1.040 times 10 to the minus 12 seconds, which is like a billionth of a second. Let me do the math here one sec. A trillionth of a second. So um, it's a long time for particle physics, but for the rest of us, it's really short. So obviously, you're not going to encounter. Well, you, you will definitely probably somewhere if you live, live next to a particle accelerator, walk past the Jafes I mess on, with, which has a charm cork in it, but um, you'll never know it. And most of us won't ever walk by a charm particle. And if, even if we did, we wouldn't know it. So, um, the charm cork has a spin of one half, like all corks, which means it can have, well, one, it's a fermion, so it means it's a boson and it makes up matter. Two, it means it can have this permanent magnetic moment. Basically, uh, along a permanent magnetic moment along its direction of spin. Uh, basically, this gives it the ability to participate in the electromagnetic force. Um, it also participates in all three other fundamental forces, the strong, weak, and gravitational forces. Its antiparticle is the anti-charm, um, which is the exact same as the charm, except it has the opposite charge. Um, speaking of that, the charm has a charge of plus two-thirds, making it like the up and the top quark. It, it has a mass of 1.29 jev giga electron volts, which is um, kind of big, sort of, I guess, more on the larger to average size. Um, it's this about the mass of a proton or a neutron. Uh, the charm will 95% of the time decay into a strange quark and 5% of the time into the down quark. And the strange quark is the... Um, Charm's partner in the second generation. So the um, Charm and the Strange make up the second generation of Quark. It was discovered at both SLAC, uh, Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, and BNL, Brookhaven National Laboratory, at the same time in 1974. Um, the scientists at the lab were colliding particles, and they saw the Jafe Psi meson, or um, this, this particle. And um, it's a particle made of a charm and an anti charm. Um, and because there's a charm quark in it, it means the charm quark had to exist. Now, uh, this is the only particle that has a double letter name, and it was, and it is double letter because both laboratories that named it, one named it the J and the other's th the psi, so it's the J psi meson. Um, it's it's an example of charmonium, which basically means there's a charm quark in an anti charm quark. There's also D mesons, D substrange mesons, charmed birons. Um, but that's pretty much it for the charm cork. I mean, it's pretty, it's it's cool, and I like its symbol in the um particle, the particle zoo app. It's like a purple cork with a flower. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, that's all for the charm cork that I can think of. If you want more, as always, comment it. But thanks for watching. Uh, check out the website. Bye.